Hello students, uh, welcome to this module. Uh, here we are going to discuss some little uh, uh, overlook of this university question paper pattern uh, for this uh, chapter. So usually they may ask for this uh, process, uh, definitely they will ask any of the two process they may ask for this uh, university examination. So we prepare whatever we have process we have discussed uh, that you have to uh, be prepared and uh, you, are, you are going to explain. They may ask for the about uh, 10 marks, 10 or, 20, 10 or 15 marks they asked for the process, any of the process which we had discussed earlier. So now we are going to discuss further uh, the production of MMCs okay, and diffusion bonding and powder metallurgy of technique. Okay, let us begin with this uh, diffusion bonding. So the diffusion bonding is uh, nothing but uh, uh, what we call uh, it is bonding in a solid state of fabrication method of MMCs and uh, when this matrix in the form of uh, thin foils and the reinforcement in the form of uh, long continuous uh, fibers are stacked in a part, uh, particular order and then this is going to be pressed uh, at elevated temperatures and it is suitable for this uh, uh, some uh, for their pressures okay and the process is going to be adopted for the producing uh, MMCs with the light alloys like uh, aluminium, magnesium and uh, or titanium. So here you can see this uh, metal foils uh, over here and here the red color indicates uh, what metal foils and other green uh, structure we call it as a reinforcement of fibers uh, that is a uh, long fibers okay. So it is going to be under diffusion process and uh, it is uh, kept over in a vacuum chamber and this pressure is going to be adapted uh, here and this is a uh, bottom one is we call it as a uh, support and uh, this is what we call as a pattern okay so the process is uh, begins with this uh, um, a stacking of aluminium uh, uh, foils or we call it as a matrix and silicon carbide coated with the boron fibers so in this desired sequence uh, we have uh, shown in this figure and uh, the arrangement is called as called as ply okay this acrylic uh, binder is going to be used for certain uh, to retain the fiber between the two aluminium foils. A number of uh, such uh, plies uh, is going to be uh, built to the desired dimensions of this composite uh, required and then it is going to be enclosed in a uh, evacuated tube chamber. So as uh, it is kept it on an evacuated chamber and this assembly is going to be heated uh, then at a temperature around uh, uh, more than uh, 300, 350 degrees centigrade and then it is compacted in a die uh, at a pressure of uh, 35 uh, mega pascal means 35 to 10 power of uh, 6 uh, uh, pascal or root uh, per meter square that much of pressure is going to be uh, acted and uh, this high pressure temperature uh, is sufficient to cause uh, mutual diffusion uh, of atoms uh, or molecules uh, between the matrix and this uh, reinforcement metal okay so the high pressure associated with this uh, diffusion process uh, results in uh, a uh, strong bond between the matrix and the reinforcement phase. So this is all about the diffusion uh, uh, bonding. So only thing is that we have to be uh, how it is going to be uh, processed uh, the at about temperature and pressure that we have to be concentrated in this process. So let us we have a look at this another process. Uh, there is uh, one more concept is the uh, MMCs. Uh, okay. Mm. Okay. Before that, the powder metallurgy technique. So how uh, the what is mean by powder metallurgy? Uh, first we will understand. So the powder metallurgy is a process of making components from metallic powders. Okay, uh, this involves uh, blinding or means uh, the mixing of uh, powders material uh, and also processing them to, into a desired shape or compactions, and, uh, and then it is going to be heated at the compacted material in a, a controlled atmosphere. That is what called a sintering process to bond the material okay so the details uh, will uh, step by step we can illustrate it here so first our process is powder manufacture there is a uh, manufacture then uh, powder mixing and then compacting okay and sintering and finishing these are the steps uh, involved in the powder metallurgy techniques so let us discuss one by one uh, for what are the process involved in the powder metallurgy techniques okay so first one is uh, there is a various uh, powder manufacture that is metal powder so it start with the uh, pure uh, powder metal, metal uh, and this uh, additives is going to be specific to this uh, 
customer needs okay so this uh, will be available uh, for the production of powders and depending upon the uh, what we call uh, typical of uh, type and nature of the metal okay so it uh, gives the wide, widely used for the atomization process uh, wherein the stream of the water or what we call the air uh, strikes the uh, molten uh, raw material and causing this uh, molten metal is going to be dis um, disintegrate uh, of this uh, ion and it turn into solidify in the form of uh, small uh, spherical uh, uh, particles like powder particles and during this uh, what happen uh, the fall, uh, it is going to be uh, fall uh, through this atomizing tank and the uh, solidified particles are going to be then collected at the bottom of this uh, tank so once if it is the process for step one is finished then it is moved to the the powder mixing process or what we call blending okay blending uh, is uh, of this uh, with the some lubricants okay so like uh, this process is going to be uh, mixing of uh, metal powders or either it is in the wet or dry uh, state by the uh, some uh, mixer uh, what we call it as by means of some mixing uh, uh, things and the process is going to be helps uh, to obtain the uniform distribution of particles uh, sizes so here in this step as i told that is lubricant are going to be added uh, to this powder before uh, mixing once if the mixing is done or blending is done then move on to the next step that is the compacting so what is mean by compacting means uh, it is the actual process that is the powder processing okay the compacting is a process of uh, compressing the uh, loose metal uh, powder uh, particles into this uh, uh, desired shape of the size by the application of uh, pressures okay the process is usually carried out in the die punch assembly and then is resulting product is ejected from the uh, cavity okay uh, so once it is done uh, for the through the cavity then the main purpose of this uh, step is to obtain uh, for the sufficient uh, green strength and uh, increase to increase the uh, apparent density okay so this compacting uh, pressure is going to be vary from around uh, 80 to 800 uh, megapascal uh, that is what uh, here uh, the main process is going to be taken under this uh, step that is compacting then uh, after uh, finishing this third step and move on to this uh, sintering so what happened in this sintering is the green compact after uh, compacting the operation is not uh, very strong but uh, what happened the compacted powder have to be sintered so this sintering imparts uh, strength or uh, density and hardness to this uh, compacted powders so once uh, the the sintering is going to be under process it is consist of uh, what it involves one is heating hidden the compacted components in a furnace under the controlled atmosphere for certain uh, time duration at a suitable temperatures so under this influence of uh, heat the bonding takes place uh, and between the porous uh, aggregate particles and once the cool uh, once it is cooled and the powder gets uh, bonded uh, to form a heat and bonding that takes place between the porous material okay so this solid is uh, solid piece is going to be resulting in high strength and uh, hardness so last one is uh, finishing so finishing is a very uh, important step uh, while uh, uh, end of this process so these are all what we call secondary operations uh, uh, intended to, to provide dimensional tolerance and physical and better surface finish and other its characteristics also be uh, to this uh, product okay finishing operation is includes sizing uh, uh, infiltrations uh, coning and heat treatment and machining and plating and other process etc so this is all about the uh, powder metallurgy technique uh, involved in this uh, chapter so this is also one of the very important uh, uh, technique involving this uh, uh, process okay and we'll come to this uh, pmc's uh, as we discussed that is a uh, metal matrix composites so it uh, there are different uh, uh, methods uh, one is uh, for solid state uh, method and second one is uh, liquid state method and third one is uh, vapor code uh, deposition method and fourth one is in situ fabrication techniques there are four methods are uh, uh, production of uh, mmc's that is metal matrix composites so again uh, in solid uh, method uh, as we discussed first one is a uh, diffusion bonding and explosive welding and high energy rate uh, forming and powder metallurgy techniques so what we discussed right now uh, that is uh, comes under uh, 
that is solid state uh, metal matrix composite uh, method so in case of uh, liquid state method uh, the stair costing and squeeze costing and spray induction uh, deposition will be there in case of vapor co, uh, co deposition uh, method the plasma spray technique and uh, the high voltage uh, oxy uh, fuel process will be high volt uh, velocity oxy fuel process is going to be there and uh, in the last one is in situ fabrication technique so these are all the, the different methods so in that we discussed uh, these two that is uh, diffusion bonding as well as powder metallurgy so i hope you understood this uh, concept uh, uh, for the uh, process thank you